Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Today we are going to be replacing an old outlet with an AFGI, wait, an AFCI, GFCI outlet for the washing machine in the utility room out here. You're supposed to have a GFCI outlet anywhere there is water. And as this is an old house from the 1960s, uh, it does not, and as you can see, the box is all gone and it's exposed and it's just not safe. So, your first step is you're going to unplug the old appliance and then you're going to use a voltage meter. Well, you should use the voltage meter first, or detector, just to see if there's any voltage down there so you don't end up killing yourself. Okay, no voltage. I did shut off the breaker. So, let's go on down there. Okay, we got that out. I don't even think any of it is. Ugh. Connected. It was definitely not even screwed in. So hopefully we'll be able to screw this new one in. So. For this particular socket, you do need to know which one is the line and the lead. So I'm going to have to remove the socket, separate the wires, and then find out. So that'll be our next step. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to unscrew that outlet and get it all removed. And then I'll come back after that. Alright, I'm back. I have the old socket out. I installed a ground pigtail to the box because it is a metal box. You need to ground it. And then I put on a Wago three-way uh, connector there so I can tie in the two grounds from the other ones. So next what we need to do is find out which one is the line and which one is the load. So when you connect it to the new socket here, the line goes on top, load goes on the bottom, and that helps to give you your AFG, or AFCI and GFCI protection down the line. So, we'll continue on. Uh, I'm going to have my assistant flip the breaker. And then I will use my voltage detector and we will find out. Alright, we turned on the breaker. Alright, so this top one is our load or our line. And this bottom one is our lead or our load. So our line. This is our load. So now we know. All right, shut it off. All right, keep it off. All right, so our next step gonna be to connect all those grounds and the Wago wire nut thing and then I'll be stripping the wire so I have enough to connect it to the new socket and then we will install the new socket all right we're back I have all the wires cut um, I did actually have to switch to a Wago 5 because I forgot you have to ground the switch too. It is self grounding with this plate here, but I just want to make sure. So, our next step is to connect it up. So, the top one is the line, and the bottom one is the load. So, we'll start connecting it up here. When you connect it, the black wire goes to the gold screw 
The white wire goes to the silver screw. Make sure you remember that. And the ground always goes to the green. So I'll pause the video and I'll come back after I have the wires all connected and show you what it looks like. Alright, so we have everything hooked up. Really like those Wago wire nuts. So before we button it all up, we're going to test it out. It's good to have the sockets with the two prongs down and the ground up. I read online, just in case something falls on it and they're sticking out a little bit, they won't hit both of them and connect. So next, we'll test it out. Alright, I have it plugged in and I have my outlet tester. And it says it is correct. So we are good to go. It has the nice green light lit up on it. I guess you can't see that though with the, the flash on or the light on. So I'm going to take some electrical tape and wrap it around the outlet. I read online that that's safest. So I'll do that and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's all put inside the box. We have it all in and the wires pushed into the box so next we put on the faceplate. All right we have it all hooked up. We have the faceplate installed so we're doing good. That is how you upgrade your outlet in your house to an AFCI or a GFCI outlet. Thanks for checking out our videos. Like this video, let me know if you've had any issues in your house with electrical, with having these. And we'll talk to you guys later.